My name is John Kessler. I live in New York City. Uh, I was born in Yonkers in 1957, and uh, I've been I've maintained a studio in Williamsburg since 1980. My studio model is probably very different from other people that have been interviewed for this series. I have had assistants. I've always had assistants in the past. Um, ever since when I started making art in 1983, um, I did not. But then um, I would add on assistants as work got bigger and there was an increase in production and so on and so forth. At this moment, I actually work alone. As the world is getting crazier and crazier, I'm finding that my studio has become more and more of a place of solitude and a solace. And that I go from the noise of the New York Times and the insanity of the world that we're living in right now and I just shut the door and I go deep inside my work. It's a, my, my space is 20 feet by 100, so it's a long space, long and narrow. And then it transitions to what I call my clean space, which is more my gallery space, where my computer will be, my, my little office, but also where the walls are white and the floor is painted gray. And I can look at my work without the sort of the noise of the, the, the sawdust and the oil and the debris of the, the shop itself. For me, a really great day in the studio is turning my phone off not looking at the computer, not hearing any buzzes or notifications that I sort of need to, you know, be reawakened to my life, and getting really sort of deeply into the sort of maybe a mechanical piece or a video work where I'm just like, I get really, really deeply lost in. in the 90s, I sort of disappeared for about 10 years. The most important thing for me during those times was going to my studio, whether I was inspired or not, and I was like going through an incredible artist block at that time, sitting there and just taking a piece of wood and putting it against the wall. The most important thing is just like going to your studio and working through those ideas, even when they're, it seems like an impossible wall. And it's gonna happen. It's gonna, there'll be a break. There'll be like the dam is going to break. It's just a matter of time, but you've actually just gotta be there. I work in, this is something that I'm doing here with my students, is that my work is so based on play. And play is something that can, should, should not be constantly interrupted. Play is something that you have to sort of deeply, deeply invest in. Also then something kicks in, which is you know, sort of highly rational and I'm making mechanisms and I'm welding and using my lathe and I have to really pay attention to not cutting my fingers off and so on and so forth. But, but I really sort of, you know, I get lost in this world of making and where, you know, eight hours goes by, bam.